Samuel L. Jackson, the man who needs no introduction and neither do his gorgeous mansions. Yet here we are. As you might expect, the legend and A-lister has amassed a fortune over the years, buying up some multi-million dollar properties for he and his wife. Widely regarded as one of the most popular actors of our generation, at the age of 71, Mr. Jackson continues to keep working in Hollywood. His current estate is close to the action in none other than Beverly Hills, and he's owned properties in New York and Encino too. Today I'll show you where Samuel L. Jackson calls home, we even found some of the listings. Samuel Leroy Jackson is an American actor and producer who's currently the highest grossing actor of all time, considering films he's appeared in have grossed over 27 billion worldwide. He rose to fame with 90s films like Goodfellas, Jurassic Park, and especially noted for his roles in Quentin Tarantino films. You know, who could ever forget him in Pulp Fiction? Hamburgers, the cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. What kind of hamburger? I could go on and on about the movies Samuel has starred in, considering the prolific actor has been in over 150 of them. He's also provided his voice to animated films, TV series, and more. One fact you may not know about Mr. Jackson is that back in the 70s, he initially majored in marine biology before switching to architecture. A marine biologist? Yes. Why am I a marine biologist? It was only after that he discovered his love for drama and acting on stage. And aren't we all so happy he did? At the time of this recording, making it on the Forbes list of highest paid actors around, Jackson has an estimated net worth of about 250 million, so you already know he and his family are living in luxury. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at the one and only Samuel L. Jackson and the properties he calls home from his Beverly Hills estate he likes to keep pretty private, his Encino home that underwent an extreme makeover, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Robert De Niro and Margot Robbie and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. In 2018, it was reported that Sam wanted to part with his gorgeous property in New York City. He listed his multi-unit combination condo on the Upper East Side of Manhattan for a whopping 13 mil. Mr. Jackson bought the abode back in 2005 for 4.8 million and it's located on a middle floor in the prestigious 13th floor pre-war apartment house known as the Lenore. The building is in a prime location at the corner of East 63rd Street in Madison with many of the apartments overlooking Central Park as it's only a block away. The elegant limestone building was built in the early 1900s as an apartment hotel and remains named after the building's first lesser Charles L. Lenore. The interiors of the place have since been rebuilt to accommodate the best apartments, turning into luxury condos in the 80s. The Lenore features a full-time door attendant and security. Sam's condo here spanned about 3,000 square feet with 4 beds and 3.5 baths. A windowed alcove off the small entryway offered a sleek wet bar with under counter drink fridge, and nearby there was a combination living and dining area with oak floorboards, floor to ceiling built ins, and a dramatic black chandelier over the dining table. A spacious guest bedroom past this common area had a walk in closet and an Art Deco inspired bathroom with black ceramic tiles. At the heart of Sam's former bi winged apartment, there was a cozy den with media cabinet, smaller dining area, and a cushioned window seat. There was also a high end but slightly small kitchen here, likely not ideal for an avid cook. A hall leads to an extra bathroom, two guest bedrooms, and another bathroom with a flat screen TV. The master suite Sam used to occupy here was not exactly spacious, but it offered two exposures, a custom fitted dressing room with wardrobes, as well as a windowed bathroom with modern cabinets, claw footed bathtub, and glitzy white chandelier. I know that Manhattan real estate is expensive, but in my humble opinion, 13 million is a little steep to ask for this condo. What do you guys think? Before we check out Mr. Jackson's current abode, he and his wife, actress Latanya Jackson, used to live in a gorgeous Tudor style home in Encino, California, while they were raising their daughter. And the residence was actually featured in Architectural Digest way back in 2000. Back then, this neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles was even more suburban than it is now. In current times, Encino has seen more celebrity residents in popularity, with pop stars like Selena Gomez and even YouTubers like Logan Paul living here. 
The home was built in 1981 and the couple stumbled across the property as they were driving through the valley one day. Latanya said in the interview that she saw the less than desirable country abode and instantly knew it was the one. After purchasing, the Jacksons enlisted the help of designers Cecil and Hayes to take the house through an extreme makeover, and that they did. Inside Sam's previous family home stand 4,491 square feet of space with four beds, and elsewhere on the property, there was a 2,100 square foot guest home with two beds. After the renovations though, this guest house was converted into a screening room with green velvet walls and leather furnishings. I bet it was in style at the time. The home had a large family room with fireplace, country style kitchen, formal dining room, sunroom, and more. In terms of decorating the place, the Jacksons spared no expense. We're talking Persian rugs, art de Mexico tables, mahogany tables inlaid with mother of pearl from Morocco, just to name a few items. Gorgeous, top-of-the-line artworks covered the walls, and cultural pieces gave the home an Afrocentric vibe. Sam told Architectural Digest, We wanted our daughter to live in a homey environment. My wife and I are essentially just very southern people raised in middle-class households. Outside, the home boasted features like a tennis court, 66-foot pool and spa, and a putting green. Sam and his wife listed the home in December 2014 for $3.2 million, but ended up selling it in 2015 for $2.8 million. Since then, the home went under another renovation and is almost unrecognizable. Yep, that's the same house. More recent listing materials describe it as a Cape Cod Tudor fusion masterpiece with dramatic two-story entryway and light and bright interior. Apparently, the house is finished with custom millwork and detailing, and the family room has high beam cathedral ceilings and a grand fireplace as well as a wet bar. The kitchen here was also completely upgraded with top-of-the-line appliances, even a built-in espresso machine. Not to mention, the house is now a smart home. So you know, just hearing that, it's fit for the modern lifestyle. We can see from photos all the ways the home has changed since the Jacksons lived here, even the exterior is a different color. But one thing I'm not sure about is what they did with Sam's screening room, I wonder. Since selling their Encino home, San and LaTanya moved on to their current place in Beverly Hills. They actually purchased the home back in 2000 or around then for $8 million from actress and comedian Roseanne Barr. Although Sam keeps his home super private, we do know it's in the elite neighborhood of Beverly Park. With homes that average 20,000 square feet, vacant lots for sale at almost $30 million, and enough resident A-listers and film execs to fill a red carpet, this gated community is one of the wealthiest and most exclusive places in all of Los Angeles. Sam's neighbors here include the likes of Eddie Murphy, Denzel Washington, Rod Stewart, and many more. Beverly Park is only accessible through two guarded checkpoints and is fully paparazzi proof. Most of the land parcels here are two acres or so, all behind gates overlooking LA City lights, and many of the mansions are the works of star architects like Richard Laundrie and William Hablinski. Sam's current mansion spans 11,738 square feet with six beds and eight baths. Their estate privately occupies a private promontory with cross canyon views, and the main house sits at the end of a long tree-covered driveway ensuring maximum privacy. From aerial views, we can see that Sam and LaTanya's estate is made up of three separate structures, the main mega mansion, a detached garage, and a guest house. There's also a full-size tennis court and gorgeous swimming pool overlooking the hills. Unfortunately, there are no interior images of Sam's stately home to be found anywhere on the web, so all we can do is use our imaginations. We got a taste of he and his wife's design taste from their last Encino home, but I think they may have modernized things a little bit since then. Alright, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We've taken a look at legendary actor Samuel L. Jackson and some of his properties over the years. After seeing the Manhattan condo, his previous family family home in Encino and what we know about the current Beverly Park mansion, what did you guys think? I'd say that although we don't know what the inside of Mr. Jackson's current mansion looks like, aerial views prove that the place was a definite upgrade. And once A-listers move to this hood, they usually stay put. Be sure to let me know what you thought about Sam's homes down in the comments. I also recently launched a personal channel, so if you want to get to know me better, watch my latest vid and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!